What's up, everybody? It's E the Prophet here to do another video. And this video is going to be called UFC 272. Bryce Mitchell only made $90,000. What the fuck? <clears throat> and that's what this video is going to be about. You know, I'm sure whoever's watched UFC 272 heard Bryce Mitchell offer to give uh, half of his salary to a charity. Uh, his salary being $90,000. And he offered to give $45,000 to charity. And uh, when I heard that number, I knew right away <laughs> what I was going to be making a video about. So, uh, but before I even get to Bryce Mitchell and his pay for this fight, <clears throat> I just want to, you know, hit a couple other points real quick from UFC 272. Uh, we had Sergey Spivak, TKO Greg Hardy in round one. Now, I'm going to say this. Greg Hardy probably shouldn't be fighting on the main cards. He's shown he's just not at that caliber yet. But to be fair to him, he took on a fighter that's on the road. You know, Spivak ain't no joke. And honestly, Spivak was out of Hardy's range. He shouldn't have been fighting somebody like Spivak. They really need to give Hardy the people at the lower end of, of the top 20. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't be getting top 10 fighters because he's not good enough. With that said, you know, he got knocked out, and it is what it is. We'll see what happens with him in the future. Congrats to Sergey Spivak. Uh, Kevin Holland's back in the win column with the uh, win over Alex Oliveira. TKO round two. Uh, Oliveira took it to him in the first round, though. I thought Holland was going to be in trouble, but, you know, Holland, uh, one thing I like about Holland, he's a finisher. You know, when he smells blood, he goes for it. He ain't playing. When he goes for the finish, he goes for the kill. And I think he'll probably be around for a while because of that. And fans like that about fighters. Uh, I'm going to skip over Bryce Mitchell. I'm going to come back to Bryce and Edson Barbosa. Uh, Rafael Dos Anjos defeated uh, Renato Mocaino. And, you know, in, in, in Greg Hardy's situation, I feel his management didn't do him any good. I feel Renato Mocaino, same situation here. You know, they let him get beat to death for five rounds, which I thought was bad. You know, I'll, I I kind of feel like Rafael Dos Anjos took mercy on him and kind of let him hang in there, which I also thought was bad. Y'all ever hear the road to hell is paved with good intentions? I think it would have been much more merciful for Rafael to just stop him in the second or third round, to be honest, instead of beating his ass for five rounds. That was a lot of punishment to take. And uh, one thing y'all got to realize about a fight, <laughs> when you're in a fight, and these fighters, like I heard, you know, uh, somebody say that it's up to the fighter to decide. Dominic Cruz said it. It's up to the fighter to decide. But that's not, see, these guys are, are, are full of adrenaline when they're fighting. They might not even realize the amount of damage that they're taking. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, it can't always be up to the fighter in that situation. That's why he has people managing him and taking care of him. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to have better judgment than the fighter. And sometimes these fights need to be stopped. That fight should have been stopped. He took a lot of unnecessary damage as a short notice fighter, in my opinion. And, and that was just bad. That was a case, another case of bad management. You know, uh, last, Colby Covington, B. Jorge Masvidal, via unanimous decision as well. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I think Colby need to drop all of this, you know, uh, heel shit that he's, you know, trying to be a WWE character. I really think Colby Covington needs to work on his damn jujitsu <laughs> and work on his striking. Maybe figure out how to knock somebody out or how to choke somebody out. Because his, he won the fight for sure, but his submission attempts uh, don't exist. That shit he was doing on the ground would, would look real amateurish. And don't get me wrong. He would have never submitted Jorge Masvidal anyway because Jorge Masvidal was just that good. <laughs> but it, it just, uh, it looked, like I said, uh, Colby, instead of focusing on all this stupid personality stuff, trying to be a WWE character, you know, focus on his fighting skills. That's what's going to get him the way he wants to go. But anyway, back to what I really made the video about. Bryce Mitchell defeating Edson Barbosa. Schooled him for three rounds. Uh, just dominated Edson Barbosa. You know, he won the fight by unanimous decision. But Bryce Mitchell was the real deal. And for him to only be making $90,000 a fight against a fighter like Edson Barbosa to me, 
is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I wish I was Bryce Mitchell's management because I promise you he would be making significantly more money than that per fight. Bryce Mitchell is a former, you know, tough winner. <laughs> He's undefeated. This guy is the real deal. I'm telling you, Bryce Mitchell is the real deal. He's going to give some people problems in the uh, featherweight division. I can't wait. To, hopefully now, since he just dominated Edson Barbosa, they'll give him somebody at the top. You know, if I was him, I would avoid Max Holloway, but I would fight pretty much everybody else. I, I really think uh, Holloway is a bad matchup for him, you know, because Holloway is really, really hard to take down, and he has a lot of volume, and I just think that's a bad fight for Bryce, but, you know, he might have to end up eventually facing him, you know, of, of course, but I would avoid him for now if I could. But um, anyway, for and the UFC really has to, man, they, they got to stop paying these fighters for real. I really don't even get, I don't even make videos talking about fighter pay. But when I heard, when I saw that, I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I'm like, yo, this dude is not even making $100,000 a fight. That's insane to be putting your body, to be risking your health, to be making that low amount of money that's just ridiculous that's ridiculous and the ufc needs to fix this stuff on the low end no none of these type fighters should be making under a hundred thousand to be honest i would i think he should be paid about three times that amount at least three times that amount maybe five times that amount you know what i'm saying but definitely that that's just bad that's a bad look and and uh and i think bryce mitchell i've always thought he was an intelligent guy to be honest and I think he did that on purpose to bring attention to his piss poor salary because he can't be that ignorant and oblivious to know to come out and say, hey, I'm making $90,000 and I'm going to give half of it to a charity. He had to know how that would look. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I can't believe nobody's making an issue of this. So I guess I got to make the issue of it. Nobody's talking about this dude making this low amount of money and offering to give half of it up. The UFC should have stepped in <laughs> immediately and said, no, nah, you know what? The UFC will donate that money on your behalf. You keep your money. The little money you, you made this fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, speaking of, if there's anybody watching this, this video right now and you want to partner with me, let's make a management company for these fighters. Somebody, I'm telling, yo, this is a problem and nobody talks about it. The management for the UFC fighters is piss poor. Look at this shit that be happening to these fighters. And people want to blame Dana White in the UFC. Man, it starts with their management first. The people who are supposed to be managing these fighters in their careers. You know what I'm saying? I see so many mistakes. Like the fighters don't really use their time after the fight, in my opinion, the way they should. You know what I'm saying? That's your time to promote yourself. And a lot of fighters don't even really take advantage of it. You know, that's something that they, they, they manage, like whoever's taking care of the fighters should be telling them. You know what I'm saying? Like these fighters making this, this little bit of money. Like I said, this is outrageous for Bryce Mitchell. Bryce Mitchell. If you happen to somehow see this video or somebody tells you about this video, hit me up in the comments. I promise you, let me negotiate with the UFC on your behalf. I promise you, you will be making more than $90,000 a fight. I, th that's a guarantee. No doubt about it. Hit me up. Fire whoever you got and get with me. And like I said, anybody y'all y'all want to start like some kind of management company for these firms helping to negotiate? On their behalf and helping to just guide fighters in certain aspects of their career that they might not be getting the guidance they need. It's obvious they're not getting it. You know, hit me up. Hit, let's let's make something happen. This is what I want to do anyway. I've always wanted to like help the fighters, you know, in terms of money and, and, and uh career. I've always wanted to do something where I can help the fighters anyway. So if any of y'all are interested, by all means hit me up. But Bryce Mitchell only making ninety thousand dollars is just just it's bullshit. There's no way that dude should be making that kind of money. And fighters on of his caliber, period. Like if somebody told me Kobe Covington made like ninety thousand dollars or like a hundred thousand dollars for his main event fight, I'd be like, man, that's bullshit too. That dude should be making way more money than that. And that's what I'm saying. Yo, these fighters need somebody to negotiate who actually knows how to negotiate on their behalf. Yo, it's insane. It's it is it's just ridiculous. I I just couldn't believe it when I heard that. I could not believe it. Like I said, when I heard that shit, I knew what my next video was going to be about. You know, and uh, I don't even, uh, funny enough, they don't even show the salaries. Like, they used to always show the salaries. Now, I don't even know what the fighters are making. The only, only reason I do know is because he said it. 
you know, he said what he was making. Like I said, I don't think that was, I think he knew exactly what he was doing. And I applaud him for doing it. Because hopefully, like I said, it won't just be me. I'm not big enough really to make an issue of it. But hopefully somebody who got a huge following, who got a lot of, you know, get a lot of viewers and views on their videos. Hopefully somebody like that will make an issue of it. Hopefully. You know, we'll see. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I, I thought I thought it was just, just pure bullshit that Bryce Mitchell was only making $90,000 a fight. You know, that, that's just ridiculous in my opinion. And I really think the UFC guys got to tighten that shit up for real. That's why people are attacking them because of stuff like that. And I, I can't even, I, I love the UFC and I love Dana White, Sean Shell, all of the people who make it happen for us. I love them. But I can't agree with this. This ain't, this ain't right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and it needs to be fixed. But anyway, y'all, hey, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thoughts and comments and, you know, share the video if you like. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for watching the video. Everybody stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy. Peace.